Hi guys, welcome to howmachineworks.com. Today with the help of this animation, let's learn how a governor arm actually controls the fuel supply towards the engine. So let's identify the components. And that's the governor weight retainer over there. Then we have the metering valve in orange. Then that's the throttle shaft connecting towards the accelerator pedal. Then we have the rotor pump, that's a vein type pump. On that's the fuel line which is connected towards the engine injectors and that's the line connecting the metering valve and the rotor pump which supplies the fuel so let's see the animation case one is when rpm increases when the uh, vehicle increases its rpm it gets reflected on the governor weight retainers so that's in green and the governor weight retainers rotates and due to the centrifugal force of its weight it moves towards the front and it pushes the governor in blue you can see the governor is moving towards the front and the metering valve is also moving because they are linked each other with a spring so as the metering valve further moves what happens is that it opens up the connection between the pump and the metering valve where the fuel flows from the pump the uh, fuel flows to the metering valve and finally it reaches uh, the injectors so that's how uh, it happens in case one when the rpm increases and rpm reduces the same happens in return the governor moves backwards and the flow reduces case two is when we accelerate uh, the vehicle when we use the accelerator pedal to accelerate the vehicle the accelerator cable pushes the throttle shaft over there. So the throttle shaft moves, which results in the movement of the spring, which is connected to the governor arm. So the blue governor arm moves. You can see the governor arm moves, resulting in the movement of the throttle shaft. And as a result of that, the port opens up, opens up the connection between the pump and the metering valve. You can see the animation of the, the blue governor is moving and the metering valve is moving, which results in the opening up of the port. Thus, the fuel gets towards the injectors. So the same way when we release the accelerator pedal, the fuel flow reduces also. So these are the two states how the governor actually controls the fuel flow uh, towards the engine. And I believe you understand uh, it's working. So for more technical videos, please click the subscribe button so that you get regular updates. Visit our website, How Mission Works, for more videos. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team. Happy learning. Have a great day.